let's say for this effect, I can give the deck a little mix like this, and I would explain to the spectator that they're going to choose a card for me, but they're going to do it in a bit of a different way. So I'm going to start peeling cards like this, and all they need to do is call out stop. Let's say they call out stop here. So go ahead, look at your card, and remember this for me. So once the spectator, I don't think my finger was in the way there. So once the spectator can remember their card, I would tell them, I want you to go ahead and either write it down, tell it to someone, just don't forget it. As we leave your card there, we bury it somewhere into the deck, and just like that, your card is now on top. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that is what we are going to be learning today. If you would like to learn how to do this, make sure to stick around for the tutorial. Before we get into the tutorial, in case you're wondering about the cards I'm using, these are the Black Seafarers by the Joker and the Thief. So, if you would like to see a deck review on these, I will leave a link for my deck review in the description. These are very, very nice cards indeed. The tuck box is amazing. The faces are amazing. Just everything about it. So, the move I showed you, here's the tutorial now. The move I showed you can either be a force and or a control. So it's up to you. You can either force the card and just go on with the effect, or you can force the card and control it to the top. Now you could quite possibly not use it as a force and control it to the top. So let's break down everything you're going to need to know. So for this, you're going to have a force card on the bottom of the deck. Obviously, we're going to use the Ace of Diamonds in this case. So, once you have that Force card, you're all set. You can do any shuffle or false shuffles, false cuts, anything you would like. I will leave a link for some of them in the description. After you have done that, you're going to catch a break above the bottom card. Now, I like to do a pinky count, which I will also leave a link for, but you could also go ahead and riffle down and then put your pinky in, separating that card from the rest of the deck. You could even spread the cards in your hand, showing that they're going to pick one of these cards, and when you get to the bottom, put your middle finger on the second to last card, clip it up against the deck, so I'll apply some pressure, Lift up, put your pinky in there, and square up. <laughs> Any way you want to do it, you now need a break above that card. So after you have that break, you're all set. So you can either start by swing cutting the deck, and then peeling cards off one by one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Or while you're talking, you could start by peeling cards off one by one. It really doesn't matter, it's up to you. I will leave a link in the description for the swing cut. Now personally, I like to swing cut a small portion of cards. Make sure you don't flash the break either. So about 5 to 10 cards. And then I explain that I'm going to start peeling cards off like this. I like for them to call out stop. Just make sure you don't have one of those people to have you go way down to the bottom, like around this many, or even the bottom card, because then the effect won't work. But if they do have you go, <clears throat> excuse me, to the bottom card, you already know that card, so you could do some mind reading effect. Okay, let's see if that does anything. 
Okay, so you have your break above the bottom card, and you're going to swing cut. And now they're going to call out stop. Let's say they call out stop here. Now you're going to do a number of things. So you're going to have both of these packets, and you're going to move the packet with the thumb break over to the packet the spectator called out stop at, and you're going to contact with your middle and ring, possibly your pinky, half of the other cards here, and you're just going to bring this hand all the way up while bringing this lower hand up, and it's going to look like they chose the Ace of Diamonds. Now, because you have a break here, it's very easy when you lift your hands up to put your pinky and ring finger there to let go of the break while you move this top half away. And that's all you're going to do. So you're going to come over, I'm going to lift up my hand, and at the same time, I'm going to move this other half up, put my fingers in there, and now I can hold the break. And this is the force, okay? So one more time, I will go over that. You have your break. You're going to come over. When you contact halfway, you're going to raise this upper hand up while sliding this other hand straight up vertically or ho vertically. But this hand is just going to go straight up. So it's going to look something like this. Raise the camera just a little more. So you're like this. <clears throat> and now you can put your fingers in there and get rid of the break. So now you have your force card. And if you want, you could go ahead, push it in, put the rest of the cards on top, and have them shuffle it. It doesn't matter. Because now you have the Ace of Diamonds forced. Now, if you want to do it as a control, here's what you're going to do. <clears throat> Excuse me, gosh. So let's just say, for example, that we have the three of spades here. With this upper half, you're going to do a sort of Kelly bottom placement move. So if you don't know how to do the Kelly bottom placement, I don't think I have a video on it, actually. I might teach it in an upcoming video, but you can always look up on YouTube how to do it. But here's what you're going to do. So you know the packet is going to be like this, okay? You're just going to want to pick, use your pinky and go down as far as you can and then curl in. Do the same with your middle finger and do the same with your ring finger. And these fingers, once they're curled in, if you apply pressure and you go to the right into your hand, you're going to see that the card is going to move over, and then eventually it's going to just, you know, leave the deck. And how it leaves the deck is if you just kind of push forward, I guess. You're going to have to play with it to see it, but if you push forward with your three fingers here, it's gonna go forward like this. And then how I catch the break is I move my middle ring and pinky back to the left, and then I just push down. And if you do that, you're gonna get just a little break like that. Now another way you could do this, I haven't tried this out yet, so I don't know if it works. But you do the same thing as before. So you apply pressure down, move your fingers over to the right. And once you, you know, push your fingers in and kind of up and it separates, if you use your index finger here, you can move the deck down. And once the deck is all the way down, because it's aligned with this card, your thumb's going to move up. It's going to be able to clip onto the break. So we're like this, we have the card, I move the deck down, I think it's a little harder, but then you have the break. So, once you have your break, however you want to get it, you're going to show the card, so let's say the three of spades this time. 
you're going to come forward, and I like to point and say, you could have had any card. Okay, now you can do this any way you want, but I think this justifies the action of bringing this deck over, leaving it here for a few seconds, if that, and then moving forward. So here's what you're going to do in the action of moving forward. You're going to come up. You're going to come over, you're going to move up, and with this pinky break, you can either let go with your thumb or put your pinky in there and continue moving forward. But right about here, I like to put my index finger out and I say, you could have had any card. And just like that, focus. I guess it's not going to... Yep, there we go, focus. We left that extra card on top. Move it down some. So, you have your break. I'm going to come over and I say, okay, you could have had any card. And now the card is second. <clears throat> so now you don't have to do this. But this is another way of getting the card on top. You, you're going to put your thumb across the halfway point of this deck. You're going to push the card up and over to the left. And if you keep doing that, you're going to notice eventually the card is going to revolve around the deck. Now, it might be a little hard, and you really don't want to flash this. If you go as far as you can, you might get stuck here. So use your index finger to push up the pile and then bring your thumb back down. That's going to put that X card, you could call it, on the bottom even their card on top. Now, of course, you could go ahead and just bury this card in the packet, but something that might be visible for the spectators is moving this card up, over to the left, and you're just going to keep revolving over to the left. If they get stuck here like this, use this index finger to push up the packet some, and now, you can pretty much clip this with your index finger, move your thumb out of the way, and now move your index finger over to your middle finger and use your thumb to straighten it out. And don't put this half on top. You're going to lose the card. Put it on the bottom, push it in, and that card is on top. A really neat control so instead of going that over that in depth one more time, I'm going to sort of do a performance, but I'm going to break it down each step of the way. <clears throat> so you'll also get a tutorial, but won't be as long. You'll be sort of like a performance. So we know our card we're going to force is on the bottom. Let's say the King of Spades. We're going to catch a break above it and check descri the description for all of the videos I talk about. So you have your break. You're going to just, I don't think I explained this too well, but you have your break and you're just going to come over and do thumb break. So your middle ring and pinky at the front, <clears throat> geez, index finger curled at the top and your thumb just going to come right over. It's hard to show, but you're just going to be like this, let go of that pinky and now you have your thumb break. So once you have your thumb break, you're going to either swing cut some or you're going to start peeling off with your thumb. Either way, you're going to peel off with your thumb. They're going to call out stop. Make sure they don't go near the bottom or even to the bottom card. But if they do, you know that bottom card so you can do whatever you would like. They say stop here. You're going to take this upper packet and you're going to come to the halfway point. And now all at once, you're going to lift up both hands while moving this top packet and show them King of Spades. And now with this break, you can see my thumb is holding it. I put my ring finger there and I move my hand away and I can show the King of Spades, move it up just a little more. And with this half, I'm going to get ready for my break. So I'm going to push down with my three fingers, move over to the right, and then kind of now go forward some and then move back over. And you can use your pinky and your index to square up the deck. 
But now you have your break. <clears throat> I'm going to put this king right down with my index finger. Oh, make sure that doesn't happen. I'm going to move over with this deck. Okay, so I'm just going to move right across. Put my pinky in there. And I'm going to have my index finger and say, you could have had any card. You could have said stop at any time. You could be thinking of any card. Anything you want to say. So now let's take your card. So I'm going to move this card up over to the left. I'm going to keep rotating it. And if it gets stuck here halfway, use your index finger to push up the pack. You can now curl your index finger around it. Bring your index finger over to your middle finger. Square it up with your thumb. And now put this bottom half on the bottom. And just like that, the card is on top. And I think I'm going to stop there. So that is the video for today. If you are new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time with a new video. Bye.